I share the concerns that you have uh, you've just expressed. Uh, Tunisia had been uh, a relative success story uh, in the the region, one that we long supported uh, through a couple of administrations. I share your deep concern about the unilateral dissolution uh, of the parliament. Um, I've uh, spoken to President Saeed uh, myself a number of times on this. Uh, we are pressing uh, for uh, a transparent, inclusive, uh, to include political parties, uh, labor, civil society, reform process. Uh, he's uh, committed to holding a, a referendum in July and to holding uh, elections, parliamentary elections in December. Uh, ideally, that would have moved uh, a lot faster, but at the very least, uh, Tunisia needs to hold to that. They've had a consultative process, as you know, uh, for uh, the reform agenda of the Constitution. A uh, very small percentage of uh, eligible Tunisians have actually participated in that. It was online, uh, and I think about six, six and a half percent of Tunisians actually participated. That is, does not augur well for something that is really an, an, an inclusive process of reform. Um, also, we've seen the use of military courts to prosecute civilians, uh, particularly for political speech. That's something we've been pressing back against, and infringements on civil society, on uh, judicial independence. All of these factor into our assistance. Um, and so uh, part of uh, what you have in the budget before you is um, an assistance plan that is calibrated on the realities that we face in Tunisia now. But with the ability, if President Saeed moves the country back onto a better track, uh, to provide uh, additional support uh, for Tunisia going forward. At the same time, I think the most important thing that they, uh, that they need to do is to uh, make themselves uh, fully uh, eligible uh, for support from the international financial institutions. And again, what's happened now has gotten them off track on that. So they're, they, they have a, a tremendous, as you know, uh, crisis. They've got a direct, uh, an immediate budget crisis, and then they have a long-term economic sustainability crisis. The long-term economic sustainability crisis is best met by um, working with the international financial institutions. Um, others potentially could provide some direct budgetary support, but honestly, that is dependent uh, on uh, the president moving the country to a better track. We've been urging that. We've been making clear that our support can be there, but we need to see uh, Tunisia return to uh, the track that, uh, that it was on. So we're looking at all of these things I just described as indicators of whether things are moving back on track. If so, our support uh, can increase. 